So we're here to learn about using JSON encode and decode with Terraform. Now Terraform comes with these built-in functions and two of them are JSON encode to encode a given value as a string with the JSON syntax and JSON decode to then decode that JSON string into some usable data. So what that looks like, if you didn't know, Terraform has a command called Terraform console that will let you run these functions to test them out. So we're gonna run the JSON encode just to show you what this looks like. So if I run JSON encode and then I pass in some JSON formatted text, right, and I hit enter, that's gonna turn that into a string. So this is proper JSON, but in a string format. And then if we took this, so if we copy this and then we run JSON decode, parenthesis, paste that, we're gonna decode that string into valid JSON. So I've gone ahead and made some pre-canned examples that we're gonna go over. We're gonna go over two of them. And I've left a link in the description to a GitHub repository that has this code. So if you wanna go ahead and git clone that, you can follow along. So we'll be using Amazon Web Services or AWS, but you can feel free to use these examples however you want. I'm just giving you the tools and showing you how to use these functions with Terraform. So the first example we're going over is we're gonna do Secrets Manager. And in this example, we're gonna go ahead and create an AWS Secrets Manager secret that it's a JSON encoded string. And then we're gonna use a script to then use the AWS CLI to download that secret and parse it with JQ. So if you wanna follow along with that example, there are some prerequisites you need. Obviously you'll need Terraform installed on your computer, but you will also need JQ installed and the AWS CLI. And then of course, you'll need a way to authenticate to Amazon Web Services in order to run Terraform and run the AWS CLI. And the second example I'm gonna show you, we're going to run Terraform to create an SSM parameter and that parameter is going to be a JSON encoded string and then we're going to use more Terraform code specifically code to create a KMS key and we're going to apply tags to that KMS key by taking them from the parameter store and JSON decoding it into a map of key pairs to be used as tags. So we're going to start with the secrets manager example. So in this example I've got some Terraform code link in the description, go ahead, get clone, follow along. And in here, we're just gonna create a AWS secrets manager secret named JSON encoded secret. And then we're gonna create a secret version, which is what's the value of your secret. And we're gonna assign that secret version to our secret and the string of the secret, we're gonna use the JSON encode function. And we're gonna pass all of our JSON structured data into the as the input for this json encode function so we're passing username password and email and then the values for those things so if you clone that git repository you'll have two folders go into the example that we're following along with the secrets manager one and from there we're going to run a terraform init to initialize our terraform working directory so i'm just going to run straight to terraform apply and then we should just get some output that we're creating a secret yes and then that's gonna go ahead and create that and it's done. So now come on over to AWS and we're looking for secrets manager and we're just gonna see what our secrets look like here. So here's our secret name. And in here, if we retrieve the secret value, we can see the three secrets we put in here. And this is what the plain text looks like. So the JSON encoded has successfully turned this into one string uh, in a JSON format. So now back over to my terminal here, I've got a folder here called scripts as well in this GitHub repository. So this script, we're gonna give it the name of the AWS secret. And then using that name, we're gonna use the AWS CLI to get the secrets out of that secret, assign it to a variable. And then we're gonna parse that secret using JQ to parse the JSON. We're gonna look for username, password, email, and then finally, we're gonna output those three variables that we created by parsing the JSON. So this is an example of how you would use Terraform to put some JSON encoded things somewhere, and then use something else like Bash or Python or Go to then decode that string and parse it and do something you need to do with it. And this usually becomes helpful when you're creating EC2 instances with user data scripts and you need to get data out of something like Secrets Manager and parse it with JQ. 
So now that the secret is created and I've authenticated to everybody that's configured my credentials, I'm ready to run this script. So I'm actually on Windows. I'm gonna run WSL real quick so I can run this bash script that I've created. And I'm gonna go ahead and run that. And we'll see that I am now parsing that JSON data. So that is an example of how you can use Terraform to encode some data into a JSON formatted string and then use that JSON formatted string somewhere else, maybe like a user data script on EC2. You need to decode some JSON to do something with it, right? This is one way you could do that. So on to the second example, and this one we're going to create an Amazon Web Services SSM parameter. So I've created a variable here. If you're familiar with Terraform, usually we put these in something like variables.tf, but I've just put it all in one file because it's so small. So I've got a variable called tags, and it is a map of strings, and I've configured four different tags in here. And when Terraform runs to create an SSM parameter, I'm going to pass this map of tags and I'm going to JSON encode it, right? So this is an example of me JSON encoding a variableized input. And the SSM parameter is going to be a string. And this is the name of the SSM parameter. And then what we're going to do is we're going to use more Terraform code to then look up that SSM parameter, decode the JSON and use it as tags for our resources. So I'll do a Terraform init inside of my SSM parameter example directory. And then I'll run a Terraform apply. And we can see that we're going to create one SSM parameter with certain values. And right now those values are set to sensitive. Now there is a way around that, but we're not talking about how to use Terraform with SSM here. We're just talking about JSON and code. So we've created our SSM parameter. So we're going to head on over to AWS and we're going to go to SSM systems manager. And we're going to look for parameter store. And there's our parameter that we expect to see. And let's take a look at it right here are all of our tags in a JSON formatted strings. This is one string, but all in a JSON format. So then back to VS code. There is a directory included with this example code called KMS key. And if you open that up and we take a look at it, all we're creating is an AWS KMS key. So we're creating one resource and we're giving it tags. And the value for tags is local.tags map. And there's a reason for that. We'll go over that. So first we're using a data source to then look up that SSM parameter that we created. So what's the name of the SSM parameter? It's my app config tags. So then once we get that, right, we have a locals block here in which we JSON decode that. So we take that JSON encoded string and Terraform looks at it, it decodes it, and then we're passing in that data source as the value for the JSON decode function. And then we have another locals block. And this, I keep these separate because this is very clean. It helps keep it more readable. But in this one, we're creating an input, a locals input called tags map. And we're creating a map of the key value pairs from the JSON decoded string. And then that is what allows us to then use it as the input for tags on our resource. So I'll do a Terraform init and I'll do a Terraform apply. And then when we do the apply, we can see our output here for all of our tags. And that's the four tags that we expect to see. So let's create this KMS key. And then let's go over to AWS and take a look. So we'll look for KMS. There's our KMS key. And here are our tags. And they look exactly like how we would expect them to look. So that is an example of how you can use Terraform to encode some JSON data and then also use Terraform later down the line to then decode that JSON data.